I'm Kelly. I'm Alana. And, and we're, we're the, the crazy, crazy dog, dog ladies, ladies that started the wedding pet care industry. We're celebrating eight years yes, in business. Are. Crazy. The last time we did one of these videos was for six years in business, which so much has happened in the last two years. We have a lot to update you on. With you, <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Ready? Yay! Hey! Hey! you. Hey, Rowdy. Fairy tale turns eight years this year. Rowdy, the middle pup in our logo, turns 13 this year. Hound pups turned 11. Oh, We're celebrating all around. Okay, that's a, that's, that's a good amount of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> we have little. Okay. Well, official tears. Yes. Congrats to both of us. We left off at our six year. Is it? Nope. Nope. Bad luck if you don't. Ooh. So where did we leave off? Yeah. So the <laughs> biggest thing I would say that's worth just jumping right into is that we franchised. Yeah, that was a big thing. So that was a huge thing. We had been working towards that for years. Yes. There was so much research, so much thought put into that before we made that huge decision, and it actually happened. When did it happen? It's early 2022. 20, Since then, we have now opened four new franchises. The first one was Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. They're coming up in their one year. Then after that, it was Pittsburgh. Then we opened Orlando, mm -hmm. our first Florida franchise. Mm -hmm. And then we also opened West Palm Beach. So that was a big year a big for year. us. Mm -hmm. And we're still here in Tampa. So we're still running the Tampa St. Pete Sarasota market and loving it. We're still working the weddings every weekend. It's our favorite part of the job. But having these franchise locations has been so incredible and being able to service so many more couples in all these different locations. Yes. And then we're still traveling here and there whenever there is someone outside of those cities, which is super fun. It was definitely a learning curve. Mm -hmm. It still is, honestly, mm -hmm. because when you open a franchise, you're essentially starting a whole new business. And you know, you have all these new personalities and these new people joining the team and you know, they're starting their own business. So they're getting to run it how they want, but still within the fairy tale brand. We are still looking for new franchises. So we're hoping to have a Couple more markets opening this year. If you or anyone you know is interested in starting a wedding pet care company and having a fairy tale in your city, we would absolutely yes. love to talk about that. You can go to our website to find out all the information on what it is to franchise, what is involved, how much cost goes into it. Literally everything is on our website. Um, and you can fill out a form to set up a call with us to talk about what that could look like. Yeah, that was a big part of mm -hmm. starting the franchise too, is we had to add it to our website. You know, we have to have that information out there for people that are interested. But that was, that was a lot of work in the beginning to get all of that up and running. We tried to do some, you know, videos and content out there for social media, of course just to announce the news. And speaking of social media, TikTok has been insane for us. Oh my gosh. So when we had our six year video, I know we may not have talked about it, but we were just at the cusp like during the pandemic of really spending yeah, a lot yeah, of time on our TikTok account and Instagram too. And our videos were really seeing a lot of traction. We were getting out there, like going viral once a week. It was kind of insane for a couple months. Like early TikTok, like TikTok days in general. Yeah. We kept up with that. We have a really awesome community over there now. If you're not following us on TikTok, check us out. Yes. We post cute dog videos and all the time but that leads me to another crazy thing that we have happened this year is that one of our videos of a wedding we did went viral in December of this past year yep. and it was our first time so you guys if you've been following us or watch our other videos we have a program called Yapley Ever After with our local Tampa Humane Society where we help couples include adoptable puppies or kittens in their wedding and it's the best thing ever. It's socialization for the animals. Yeah. They usually get adopted. It's just the best. A Primarily, big portion goes yes. back to the shelter. Mm -hmm. So anything that the couple puts towards the program is a big donation to the shelter. Exactly. So it's really amazing for that from that aspect mm -hmm. as well. Primarily, we, I mean, we do them like once a month almost. So it's yeah. not really popular, which is so incredible. Mm -hmm. And it's always been dogs. We've always offered the kittens because the shelter felt really confident that we could have a setup for them and make it work and keep them away from the music and you know find a way to incorporate cats too but no one ever did it and finally in December someone did they went all out too so they had a plushy cat that they threw <laughs> inside of a bouquet and whoever caught it had to adopt a cat nobody knew there was gonna be adoptable kittens there they were their whole wedding had yeah. like a cat theme throughout it they cats of their own they did right yeah but they knew they wouldn't be a good fit yeah. for the wedding which not every cat is gonna be a good fit so. exactly so it was awesome I obviously made a really sweet video about it, it was a New Year's wedding and it went crazy viral and beyond the scope of anything we've seen before. So let's, like we've had videos that have gone more yeah. viral, quote unquote, like more views, mm -hmm. but this one just reached audiences we never could have expected. I think it's because it was just so unique. Yeah. But I really just don't think anyone, one, has done the adoptable kittens 
And then two had something like yeah. a kitten toss. So within like a week of the video going viral, we got an email from Newsweek and they wanted to do an article about it. So we were super excited, did like an email interview with them. That went up, which got us a ton of press and yes. attention. And then about a week later, we got an email from the Washington Post who we did a phone call interview with yeah. and they did a whole article about the trend of including adoptables in your wedding how we started, how it all works. And then the craziest thing was like, well, before oh, the well, craziest thing okay. was Drew. Oh my gosh, yes. so much. <laughs> Drew Barrymore saw the Washington Post article uh -huh. and then ended up mentioning it on her show. So Crazy. literally out of Drew Barrymore's mouth <laughs> came fairy tale pet care. The Washington Post reports that the latest wedding trend is to invite puppies and kitties looking for your love to your reception. Companies like Fairy Tale Pets will help you turn your wedding into a pop-up adoption event. They've single-handedly found 80 dogs their forever homes at weddings. We didn't think we could really go any higher than that. Yeah. That was like, okay, we've made You're it. Very How incredible. Like, okay. How incredible. And then a week later, we get an email from a producer at NBC asked if we wanted to be on Access Hollywood. And like, honestly, we didn't even believe it. We were like, at this point, this is like a scam. Yeah. This email's not real. I Googled the producer. I'm like, oh, she's a real person. Like, she actually works for NBC. I didn't even know at that time that Access Hollywood did segments like this. Yeah. I just thought it was literally Hollywood celebrity news. Yeah. I'm like, that's not us. No, but there's a daily show that talks about like local mm -hmm. community things going on. And I guess they leave LA and come to Orlando to Universal Studios to do a segment every year. And so it all happened in like the blink of an eye. And next thing we knew, we were at Universal Studios filming a segment with Mario Lopez and Kit Hoover. What if you could use your wedding day to help a shelter animal? find their forever home. It's a nice couple. It's really cool new trend that's popping up at weddings right now. Joining us is Alana and Kelly from Fairy Tale Pet Care to tell us all about it. Hi, Hi. Hello to you. So you have this unique pet service where you integrate dogs into weddings. It sounds awesome. We got to bring adoptable dogs to the segment. It was just so much fun. And that's what we've done in the last two years. <laughs> now you know. Um, she got married. That happened. <laughs> Yes, that was a big thing that happened as well. <laughs> we ended up eloping, which was really fun, and I'm really glad that we got to do that. We did have a 2020 wedding plan, and we had to continuously postpone it, and then eventually just cancel it, and that's why we decided to elope. But it ended up just being exactly what we wanted anyway. We went out to California, and Alana actually came out. She officiated the wedding. We went hiking. We went. To and we took a boat out to the Channel Islands. So we were in a national park. It was amazing. And then we came home and had a reception with our friends and family a couple months later. So kind of got the best of both worlds. And of course, my dogs got to attend the, the reception. We got some great photos with them. I did a first look with my dogs, which was really, really fun. But speaking of adoptables, we also had adoptables at our wedding. And the best part is that two of my brothers ended up adopting puppies at the wedding. And now every time the family gets together, I get to see them, they're growing up. They're just hanging out them yesterday and Finn, one of my brother's dogs, is massive. He's huge now. <laughs> We've got some other exciting press coming up and some PR that we can't share yet, but that we're super excited Ooh. to Ooh. share soon. Yes, very excited about it. I can't believe it's been eight years. It's just been such a fun journey. Get to where we are today. I mean, a lot of people once we franchise ask, like, did you ever see yourself really getting to this point? Yeah. Like, I've gotten that question a lot in a different ways. And when we started this business, like, yeah, we had crazy dreams, obviously. We were like, we're gonna take over the world. But in reality, did I really think that in eight years we would have a successful location here in Tampa and have four franchise no. locations and continue? Like, I, I never could have imagined. It's the most special thing. I mean, when we first started our big dreams like our big goal was to do 52 weddings yeah remember? yeah we we're like if we could just do one yeah. wedding a weekend like we'll the have dream. made it and now just here in our location alone in tampa we're doing like 200 weddings mm -hmm. a year so even just comparing it to that is crazy so crazy and that's not even full scope mm -hmm. of what we're actually doing today so i think yeah. that's a it's a big win it's a big win yeah, yeah. cheers so cheers to that and cheers to you guys for joining us on this journey whether it's a client a potential client or just friends and family that have been following along on this crazy ride we're so happy you're here and here is to another eight years cheers <laughs> cheers <laughs> i spy with my little eye some weird girls trying to make content they're <laughs> <laughs> just talking <clears throat> oh.
two oh, yeah. whole years ago. It is recording. It's been recording. Always be recording. AVR, the baby, that's what they say in the biz. Always be selling. No, always be recording. A, B, T, D, T, W. Always be taking dogs to weddings. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so anyway. Yep. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. 2020, 2021, 2022, all kind of like melded into mm -hmm. like one giant year, but it was actually three whole years. <laughs> In case you're wondering. <laughs> January, February, March, April, May, June, July, even August, September, October, November, and December all oh, happened. <laughs> three times. A new business. <laughs> That's what I just said. Cherish. Anyway, cherish. Cherish. Cherish that memory. So cherishing. And. That you'll cherish forever. Oh, so, sure. um, maybe. No. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. You got married. That did happen. Um, <sighs> dog lover. Dog lover. <laughs> Wedding lover. Conties. Conties. <laughs> May that live on forever. It's just a video. Yeah. <laughs>